England are the world champions. Good evening. The 1990 World Cup finals in Italy are a year and a week away. This afternoon at Wembley, England were up against Poland in qualifying Group 2. A win would put them in a comfortable position for the remaining two matches early next season. Anything less would create a very nervous situation indeed. And where Poland are concerned, England can get nervous. Wembley, 1973, a World Cup qualifier, England v Poland. Hunter's got to make that. And he's lost it. Kadoka is inside McFarland. He was trying to get back outside. Damaski coming up square number 10. And it's there. That cost England a place in the 1974 finals and Sir Alf Ramsey his job. The two countries next met in the World Cup in the finals three years ago. Lineker checking back when he might have gone straight on. Trevor Stephen is unmarked. Gary Stephen's coming up on the right. Four in the area. Lineker! Beards are looking very lively. What a lovely first time ball. Lineker far side. Coming in on it. No! Yes! Magnificent goal! We're not it. Loses it. And Lineker says thank you very much. The hero then was looking for another goal scoring performance today, Gary Lineker. For Peter Shilton, 16 years on from that first match against Poland, a special day. Poland's last group match was away to Sweden less than a month ago, and the score then was one all until the 97th minute of the game. That result, 2-1 to Sweden, left the group table like this going into today's match. England leading on goal difference, seven goals scored, with that man Shilton so far keeping a clean sheet. England v Poland then at Wembley this afternoon. Trevor Brooking alongside John Motson in the commentary box. Peter the Great among goalkeepers reaches a monumental milestone today as he equals Bobby Moore's record of 108 England caps. And depending partly on the result this afternoon, he could go on to challenge Pat Jennings' world record of 119 internationals if Shilton and England go to Italy. Well, trying to stop them taking a step along that road is 24-year-old Jarosław Bako, Poland's six-feet, four-inch goalkeeper, who was discovered by the man that Wembley will never forget, Poland's 1973 hero, Jan Tomaszewski. He spotted Bako in the lower divisions and took him to his old club, LKS Wuch. Well, now a check on the two teams. For England, number five, Des Walker, and number nine, Peter Beardsley, were both past fit this morning. And Bobby Robson has gone for two orthodox wingers, Chris Waddle and John Barnes, both start the match. David Rowcastle is on the substitutes bench, along with Paul Gascoigne and Alan Smith. Poland have two strikers who play in West Germany. Number nine, Jan Furtok from Hamburg. Number 11, Marek Leszniak from Bayer Leverkusen. But number 10, Marek Wasika, who tends to play a bit deeper, is the top scorer in Polish football this season with 18 goals for his club, Ruk Hoshov. So Poland in red as they were back in 1973. They're trying this afternoon to emulate their famous predecessors here. England in white, knowing that a win is essential today. Grab on the ball now to Waddle to set us firmly on the road to the World Cup finals. And there's an early mistake by the left back. Vodovchuk, number four, turned the ball out for a corner. Waddle short to Beardsley. Lineker's in the middle, Butcher's up as well. And we do need a strong start here. Bobby Robson picking the wide players, mindful of the fact that in Monterey, it was from wide positions that England got the crosses in for Lineker's hat-trick against Poland. That was Webb. This is Butcher. Now it's Barnes inside. Robson. And number two, Vias for Poland.
Oh, straight to Chris Waddle. And the shot blocked by Vias. Here's Stevens. Waddle to Beardsley. And Barnes already roaming. Good effect. Off oh, brought down on the edge. Well, Barnes cutting a dangerous path through the Polish defence, brought down by Vias number two. Butcher starts to make a run across, gets waved back. And that's in by Beardsley, the block was by Furtok. John Barnes in the inside right position when he was brought down. Beardsley with the corner, Butcher moves away. And then gets a touch, hooked away by Maticic for Poland. And play compressed in the Polish half, Pierce's pass, header was by Wojcicki. And here's Beardsley, and Linick is in a good position. And the defender did awfully well to get a foot in. Bako was able to get there first because Vias just got his foot there ahead of Lineker. And it was a good England move, this, because he had the space and he was onside as he latched on or didn't quite reach the pass because Vias got there first. Gary Stevens. It was uh, Wukashik who came across. And now Furtop number nine against Terry Butcher. And it looks to me as though the number five, Wukashik, is marking Lineker as he did when Lech Poznan played Barcelona in the European Cup Winners' Cup. Yeah, they're together now over on the left-hand side. It's a man-to-man -man marking job, that for sure. Here's Barnes. England have yet to concede a goal in this World Cup group. Beardsley. This is Webb. Furtok a good touch, and this is dangerous. The spare player was Vias, and Furtok away on the right. And he's got Leshniak in the middle, and they're coming up from midfield in numbers. Well, there was a pertinent reminder there of what Poland can be like on the break. But Chilton has got Waddle away. Robson's just inside him. Waddle goes again. Matyshik. Oh, Lineker! And Waddle! And Bako saved it. It's Lineker again. Can Webb get there? He can. Well, possibilities there at either end. England escaped when Furtop broke for Poland, but then straight away, Waddle got them moving and Lineker intercepted the back pass from Matty Schick. John Barnes for England. Three waiting in the centre, Lineker! Well, it's been nearly all England so far, but there was one anxious moment. It's Jan Furtok breaking on the right, Terry Butcher trying to get to him, Shilton gathered the cross. Here's Pierce. Mistake by Barnes, number 10 there is Bashika. Des Walker.
Waddle now with the pass. And intercepted by the tall number three, Wojcicki. Then touched off by Furtok to number seven and captain Pushik, who's really playing in a right-back role. Presumably because he's been told to mark Barnes and he didn't get to him there. Number four on the left uh, flank of the defence is Vodovcic. And this is uh, Urban, the left-sided midfield player wearing number eight. Comes from Gornik, the uh, defending champions and league leaders in Poland. Vias. Urban. Now, Beardsley, it's a good tackle by Robson. Lenik is away, and Lenik is onside. And this is going to be a free kick and a booking for sure. And the yellow card comes out. And Bako, the goalkeeper, denies England the opening goal in this World Cup tie with a cynical challenge on Gary Lineker. Robson won it for Beardsley, and Lineker was just onside, and he was through and away. Took the goalkeeper on, and just look at that. Well, there's no question when you get an incident like that, uh, it, it's so stopped at a certain goal that the goalkeeper should be going off to an early shower there's no, no question that it it cost England a goal Gary Lineker had wrong footed him he was past him he had an open goal there was 100% certainty that the ball was going to end up in the net and here we have a free kick on the edge of the area which is sort of a 50-50 opportunity Beardsley well I'm afraid no justice there really for England and the boos echoing round Wembley are aimed at the goalkeeper. This is Pierce. Butcher. Looking for Lineker, here comes the keeper, oh, got mixed up with the centre-back. Wukashik took the ball from in front of him. And there's not too much solidarity in that Polish defence early on. But on the break, they're dangerous, that was Furtok. And he's the man, the number nine, who's causing England some concern. Number nine, Jan Furtok who's played against Butcher and Stevens before in the European competition earlier this season for his old club, Katowice. Here's Webb now for England. There goes Lineker. Waddle's in the centre, so is Robson. Waddle. Lineker. Header by Matichik, then by Stevens. And now Webb. And now Beardsley. Stevens and again Beardsley England with six players pushed well forward in this attack Webb looks for Lineker good cross Barnes it's a goal kick Barnes says corner Lineker cut that back well. Tight angle, Trevor. Did very well here. Looks as if the defender's got him blocked out, but he just clips it round. It drifts towards the far post. John Barnes coming in, and it could easily have gone off the back of the defender, but a goal kick was given. But a, a good cross from Gunnery Lineker for that tight angle. The goalkeeper caught at the near post. Just the wrong side. Well, memories of 1973, and no one will feel that more keenly than Sir Alf Ramsey sitting at the back there. It was that draw here which robbed England of a place in the 74 World Cup finals and ultimately cost him his job. Leszniak. Opening here, perhaps, it was Urban shot and Pierce who scrambled it away from Vashika.
So a corner to Poland and they'll send both their centre-backs forward, Wojcicki and Vukasic, three and five respectively. And Leszczyk heads it back, and that was a real chance for Urban. Peter Shilton entitled to shout at the players in front of him what they were allowing doing Leszczyk, giving Leszczyk so much room on this side, I've no idea. He had so much room to head that back in. And it's Jan Urban who comes in for the second header, and Trevor Brooking, he might well have scored. Well, it's the same old tell, Leszczyk, uh, one of the smaller forwards. You, you worry about the big men, and there he was coming up late, but it was the first header by a little Leszczyk, who, who nobody had picked up, left him completely unmarked. Here's Barnes. surely it's in England have taken the lead and the scourge of Poland in Monterey Gary Lineker brings smiles to English faces again John Barnes with the pass Lineker into the goalkeeper first time and then, from a tight angle, right foot, that's over the line as Brian Robson dives in. And England have taken the lead. Just when we really needed it, Poland had come close a minute earlier. And the Wembley crowd thrilled by that. 24 minutes gone. Lineker, who scored that hat-trick against Poland in the last meeting, now takes his England total to 28 goals in 41 internationals. Furtop, Beardsley, now Robson. Looks for Lineker, moving well again away from his marker. Barnes. got back to concede the corner, Rukasic, but he's got his hands full here with Lineker. Beardsley to take the corner, Butcher behind Barnes. Barnes! Webb! Good save by the goalkeeper from Neil Webb. Close to being 2-0 to England there. Peter Beardsley's corner, flick on, I think, by John Barnes here. Webb's header, point-blank range. But the near-post corner works here for England. Webb. Beardsley. Half an hour gone. Barnes for England. Barnes! He looks up to the sky because he knows that was a very good chance. Great tackle by Brian Robson, but he's got injured as a result, and let's hope he's not badly hurt because it was a, his tackle that set up the opening for John Barnes. There he is, he runs onto it, and instead really of squaring it, he tries to clip the goalkeeper himself. A little square pass to Gary Lineker. But I'm a bit concerned about Brian Robson, I must say, because he doesn't go down like that unless he does feel a nasty injury. And so when we think of his injuries, of course, he missed Poland, didn't he, in Mexico? Let's hope the jinx hasn't struck. Yes, you're quite right. It was the dislocated shoulder, wasn't it, in the uh, World Cup that was the reason he didn't play in the Poland game. But hopefully, Captain Courageous is all right today. Paul Gascoigne was warming up just in case, and so too was Paul Parker. Butcher. Vidovchik. Pierce for England. England coach Don Howe. Lenica, good touch to Waddle. 
Webb. Lineker again. I think it's now safe to say that the sharpness has returned after that debilitating illness of Gary Lineker's that affected him not just in the European Championships, but for much of this season as well. But how he enjoys playing in the centre rather than on the right wing where Johan Cruyff has kept him for much of the season for Barcelona. He's thriving on this service. Bobby Robson down on the bench as we approach half-time. That was Vashika to Matichik. Vashika again, number 10. It's good play on Prusik. And a brilliant header by Walker. This is Lesniak. It's not over yet, the danger. It is now... But right on half-time, Des Walker saves Bobby Robson's team with a header which may yet prove priceless. And Vashika got round the outside, it was Prusik with his header, and Walker got that away. Well, they'll argue about whether this was going in or not. This angle may be uh, a clearer indication. Well, certainly it was too close for England's comfort. Des Walker showing that the neck injury <laughs> really has healed. Stevens. Barnes. Lineker. Oh, good play. Pierce. Four waiting for a cross here for England. In time added on for stoppages at the end of the first half. Good ball. Walker again. Kuczynski coming out of defence set that up and tried to get Furtop through again on the right. Half-time, and Bobby Robson's team have played well going forward, but would be unwise to take anything for granted at this stage, because Poland, a goal behind to Gary Lineker's effort in the 24th minute, have had their moments, although their attacks have been few and far between, and England, pleased to be 1-0 in front, still have plenty of work to do. started with news of the official attendance at Wembley, 69,203. Pretty good turnout for the first weekend in June. Cool conditions that suit the England players. Lineker gets back to beat Matichik. He's got through a terrific amount of work, Gary Lineker. Stevens. Beardsley, Waddle, Lineker's off again inside the box, he's nearly there, he is there! Side netting, it was nearly, but he's looking sharper than I've seen him, Trevor Brooking, since before the European Championships. A magnificent pass by Chris Waddle there, but it was really the run, look, he's got away from the marker and the sweeper, and really... Very, very unlucky that it caught the side netting, but a great run again. He's such a good target. Here's Stevens to Waddle. Lineker's there. Barnes! Oh, unlucky. Keeper got to him. Well, there were a few England fans starting to shout goal there. Instead, it's Poland breaking at their most dangerous. Furtok. Barnes was the player who was just about there. It's a Chris Waddle cross bent in beautifully. Barnes steals inside the number two, and the keeper made a good save there. Vias. Leshniak's coming in with Stevens. Maticic. Vidovcic. Uh, Brian Watson's tackle. 
certainly intended to go for the ball when he started. But it's a free kick to Poland and England have got some defending to do here. That second goal still proving elusive and while it does, there are going to be a few nerves around the place. shot was by Vodovchik in the end it was well charged down and Peter Beardsley saw the chance to break clear and Neil Redford a great one to his left Milik is to his right and it was there that Beardsley tried to go and Webb said why didn't you pass it the other way but here's Waddle and Stevens Robson all a bit short by the captain A big disappointment for England there because Peter Beersley, having done exceptionally well to break up the Poland free kick, suddenly found a, a three against two situation. The spare man was Neil Webb down his left, uh, and Neil Webb standing there knowing in his own mind that a great run really to join Peter Beersley was wasted. And why Peter Beersley selected uh, on the right hand side Gary Lineker, I'm sure only Peter Beersley will know. Well, here is Lineker. Keeping the ball in play and finding Robson. Terry Butcher to Pierce. Robson's in there, so is Lineker. It went behind both of them. This is Waddle. Charge down and Beardsley blocked by Matichik. But a lot of referees from the continent don't give those. Probably sees it in Italy every week that. Stevens as the crowd get behind England at full stretch there Vachitsky that is a free kick and it's against Terry Butcher who's angry well, it's a World Cup tie which to many people is so vital and yet it's uh, England's match for much of the time but the poles still threatening when they get the chance to catch England a man short here and there so heavily of England press forward this is Vodovchik Vias Matichik and Leshniak and Urban well that's two chances for Jan Urban it, this is a corner it was deflected Des Walker again making a vital interception and Jan Urban who had that header over the bar in the first half Walker definitely threw himself in Wazarek free kick given Polish substitution it's a striker coming on and one going off Leszniak will leave the field number 11 and Roman Kosetsky who's got something of a playboy image in Poland, plays for Legia Warsaw. Uh, something of a pop music freak, we're told, and the haircut may suggest that. He's coming on. There's the coach uh, in the light suit, Wojciech Wazarek, who must know that this game is still open. Walker stretching. Waddle. Well, well played by Chris Waddle. Now, what's on the end of this? Three England players the other way. Menick has made the run again. The angle wasn't good enough. Urban. Well, again, Lineker making such a tremendous amount of space for himself full of running Koshetsky nice turn and he's got three others up with him now can John Barnes make something of this the Poles themselves now having to get back hurriedly well they're only Beardsley and Lineker up there so far he's waiting for the other midfield players And eventually he finds Waddle on the other wing. And still Waddle. Good effort. 
from Chris Waddle. Well, the Polish goalkeeper has shown that even if he's not uh, performing the heroics of Tomaszewski, he's still pretty useful. Corner to England. to meet that too. Barnes, Waddle. Butcher stayed forward. Barnes again. Waddle again. It's a poor kick by the keeper. This is Stevens. And that's all. <laughs> that's equally poor. Halfway through the second half. And England will need to deliver the ball better than that if this uh, second goal is going to arrive. Webb. Matichik staying close again to Beardsley. Prusik equally close to Robson. Pole still very orderly, very athletic offside against Furtok. And we certainly can't relax against them, can we? England at the moment certainly just lost that fluidness that they had going forward. And I think really is the midfield area where Poland are, are sort of just ganged up that little bit. And England's back four are really only just picking one up at the time. If the two fullbacks, Gary Stevens and Stuart Pearce, could really move in and pick up the wide people, it would help Brian Robson and Neil Webb, who, who seem sort of undermanned at the moment. This is Waddle. Lineker, that's a good touch. Stevens now, can he get a quality cross in? He can, Barnes, yes! That's the goal we wanted. And it's the goal that might lead the victory here. The Poles down and deflated, and England celebrate. Gary Stevens here made up for any earlier crosses that didn't go his way. It was a beautiful ball, and Barnes at the far post to finish it off. 2-0 to England, and you can feel the sense of relief and release all the way around the stadium. The Poles will make their second substitution now. Chris Waddle into Gary Lineker. What a glorious build-up this was. Stevens brought into play. Superb cross, great finish. Tarachevich is on at number 14, and Jan Urban has gone off. Lineker. Now, can we go one better and repeat the score in Monterey? Lineker's coming in again. Trevor. Well, as you say, a sense of re relief around the ground, and uh, Gary Stevens is such an athletic person that he could make those surging runs into that situation all afternoon. It's just the quality of his crosses, and when he gets the ideal cross in, the second goal came. And John Barnes, you mentioned him, he made it look very easy on his left foot. It was a side foot, but it was at a tight angle, and I can assure you it was a lot harder than it appeared, but a, a very important second goal. We also need to make the point, uh, Trevor, that England have kept a clean sheet again up to now, which can prove significant if uh, we're talking about qualifying in second place as compared to teams finishing second in other groups. It's all a bit complicated. Points come into play first, but it's in our interest to keep our record of not having conceded a goal in the World Cup so far. Here's Tarachevich. Prusik. All good effort. I would say he's played as well as anybody, the captain for Poland, Trevor. But he won't beat Peter Shilton like that, will he? Well, he's a long way out. Uh, and, of course, he, he did start off at right back, didn't he, Prusik? But here he is in his more familiar midfield role. Natural left footer. And they're always a bit too high and... Peter Shelton not really troubled, and I'm sure now with 2-0, enjoying his 108th cap that little bit more. Lineker, what a game he's had. 
And now Rokas. Well, he should be nice and fresh. Web Barnes Rocastle and still took two to stop him. And here's Lineker, a terrible back pass. Rocastle, Smith now, Webb, three. And Poland commits suicide in defence. And England's World Cup hopes very much alive now. Sir Ralph Ramsey applauds the goal. And Neil Webb, as the goalkeeper holds his head in dismay, makes it 3-0 to England. An easy goal for Webb, but a dreadful mistake here by Wojcicki, the number three. He presented that to Gary Lineker. Rowcastle across the goal, Smith couldn't get it, but Neil Webb certainly could. Seven minutes from the end, and England now home and dry and the score fittingly is as it was in Mexico England 3 Poland 0 that was Neil Webb's third goal for his country and he won't score an easier one but four marks to him as a midfield player for being up there in the box Trevor so late in the game and of course the third goal could prove very very vital as the, the group unfolds with Sweden because they only beat Poland 2-1 and Whoever finishes top, you know, it could be on goal difference, and that September the 6th game over in Sweden looms larger and larger as a very significant match. Here's Taracevic. Maticic. So, still Poland attack, this is Furtok. Well, it's a good turn by Furtok, and it needed Des Walker again. The number of timely clearances he's made may not be reflected by the score in the match, but Peter Shilton will be grateful because Furtok has never stopped nagging away there. It's a corner to Poland. Wojcicki has gone forward to try and make amends for his awful mistake. Here's Vodovcic. Well, Furtok turning well enough. Tess Walker, I think, held him off a bit there for a moment, but certainly got the clearance in. Well, in discussing the uh, individual performances here today, I'm sure that uh, as Barnes turns on the ball now, Gary Lineker will be well mentioned by just about everybody. He's let that one run to Webb. Good effort. Well, he's also played a major part, Neil Webb. If you're looking for successes. This is Vashika. And now it's Kosetsky taking the ball out there. If you're looking for successes, Trevor Brooking, I would have thought Gary Lineker and Des Walker would have caught your eye today. Those two, as much as anyone, I think, have been very influential. Here we just see Neil Webb, who also has had an excellent game. Well held by the keeper back over. Des Walker at the back, his pace, I mean, he's settled in alongside Terry Butcher very well, and his pace has just rescued the side on occasions, and, and he is definitely settling in alongside Terry. Is really a very formidable partnership. In midfield, I think Neil Webb and Brian Robson have played very well, because with two wide men, Barnes and Waddle, they've had to do that bit of extra work, but they've coped admirably and also supported the attack on occasions. And then up front, Gary Lineker, who's running off the ball apart from his opening goal and then selfish players also of course for the third goal as well has been outstanding and we're into the last two minutes now of this world cup qualifying tie at wembley england lead poland by three goals to nil and what a good platform that would be for bobby robson to carry into the autumn when we have away matches in sweden and the return in poland 
important psychological victory for England as well as in terms of the group position. Alan Smith. And uh, Wojciech Wazarek knows the game is up now. We're entering the final minute. This is Kosetsky. Barnes. And now Webb, and the break is on. Linick is in the middle, Rowcastle is out on the right. Rowcastle's cross, Lineker brought it down well. Smith, Robson's in there too. Oh, unlucky. Well, what a nice finish that would have been for the captain and for England. Brian Robson still with the energy to get him where it hurts, and his namesake would appreciate that. So late in the game, and he was unlucky, Trevor. Well brought down, Gary Lineker. Alan Smith playing it square. Just popped up, it hooks it, and it just drifts over the crossbar. But the one occasion, really, where Brian Robson, probably 3-0, has felt happy just to make those late runs into the penalty box. So there it is. England end the season on a high note with two valuable World Cup points in the qualifying group. Brian Robson leads his team to a most important victory. Three goals to nil, also good for the goal difference, but more important, perhaps, the ideal background from which to go to the two important away matches in September and October, and nobody played better than Gary Lineker. Back to his sharpest, scored one, made one, and with the other wide player, Chris Waddle, justified the team selection of Bobby Robson, as indeed did all departments of the England team, and how nice to see him and the players leaving Wembley to a standing ovation from a crowd of 70,000. That's what we want to see, and the national team, with Peter Shilton on the day, he equaled the record, keeping a clean sheet. The national team pleased the public and give us all a realistic chance of being in Italy for the World Cup finals a year from now. So, England consolidate their position at the top of the group. Only the top team automatically qualifies for the finals, but the runners-up can qualify depending on their record in comparison with other groups. And if it comes to that, England still look well-placed. So, a good day for England, a good day for Lineker in particular, and, of course, for Bobby Robson. I would say this about Gary Lineker's performance, actually, today. I mean, he's got a vital goal from an acute angle, but I thought it was one of his best games he's ever had for us. With his general contribution, he's leading of the line, knitting in things, sensible play around him, held the ball well, knocked it back, spun, good centre-forward play. He was always lively and threatening, and he's had strikes at, goals, at goal here, but it really was one of, the, one of the, his best footballing displays that, that he's actually given us and that I've seen from him. Well, I thought I played um, quite well. Um, it's a lot easier when the team plays well. We played really well today, and it's a lot easier for the front men when that happens. Uh, of course, it's important the manager says that because he's the one who picks the side. So if he's happy, then, then I'm delighted. And your goal, you didn't have a very big angle to aim at, did you? No, it was very tight. Um, it bounced back at me quick. I never had time to even look up to see if there was anyone in the middle. I saw I had just about enough angle, and it brought back memories a little bit of one I missed against Holland, so fortunately I've improved from that one. You took a bit of a battering, too. Yes, well, when I'm playing on the continent, I sort of get used to that. It's man for man marking. I, I think I've, my experience through man for man marking has helped me considerably in international football. And um, the clattering is part of it. You just have to ignore it and get on with it. I mean, when you win 3 0 against this type of level, that's a, that's a very good result. That, you can't ask for anything better than that. I would have been eminently satisfied at 2 0. Uh, one would have done in a way, although it was always going to be tight. 3 0 is uh, very commendable. Uh, to the players, and I think they've given a, a good crowd here, which I'm absolutely delighted with. Um, Some to go home uh, with and for, and put a few smiles, I think, on their faces. So we're pleased about that as well. Certainly. Jimmy, apart from Lineker, who else caught your eye today? Well, Des Walker and Trevor Brookings already mentioned his pace, you know, that, that has been so useful to the England defence in recent matches, and I think obviously he's here to stay and has added another dimension, but uh, he saved what might have been an equaliser just before half-time with that header out. They said he had a bad neck before the game. Well, he certainly brought it to good use there. But you can see here that Shilton might well have been beaten 
by this header and proves it. I'm not saying Peter wouldn't have saved it, but <laughs> he might not. So it was very timely, and it's another player settling in well for us. But Brian Robson, he picks up a sort of badly weighted ball there, really, from Wavell. Didn't quite pick it up, did he? He's determined to get it back. He's absolute granite in the middle of the field there. And uh, once he's got it back, he's looking to use it. A very fluent and solid performance from the captain in the centre of the field. But if you want artistry, how about Chris Waddle? Len Shackleton sitting at home. You just make up your mind, Len, whether you've ever done anything as well as this. They say you have, but finally the nutmeg. And then there's the little chip over the top to complete quite a display from Chris Waddle today. Once the Wembley crowd used to get at him, now they appreciate him. And this pass to Lineker's head, another little touch of skill there, but the weight of his pass is perfectly onto Lineker's head, and Lineker in the end just has to kneel down slightly in order to guide it into Stephen's path. And of course, Barnes also on the wing was effective, he defended well, and he was just on the spot in the six yard box when he was needed and took that quite beautifully. As good a game as I've seen him have for England. So two wingers worked, uh, a lot of happiness about, and uh, you know, a, a good, solid, all-round performance at a time of the season, perhaps, when people think that uh, players should be tired and uh, going to bed to rest. <laughs> <laughs> what did you make of that foul on Lineker by the goalkeeper today? Well, it's, it's not a new situation. Um, you know, we all don't like it. The crowd didn't like it at Wembley today. The first thing we can point out, I think, is was that the run was perfectly timed. Beersley collects the ball and delivers a beautiful pass. He hangs back. Here, Lineker Lineker on the left, hanging back beautifully. Mm. And uh, the defender moves up, but in vain. But the way Lineker plays it is perfect. Good for young forwards, this. If you find yourself in this position, make sure you clear the goalkeeper well with the ball, which he does beautifully. But the goalkeeper pulls him down, not going for the ball. And of course, um, you know, not really fair. Uh, there's an injustice there. Um, it's bad for the image of the game. And the, you know, the wrong team might get through and the player might get injured. So under all three headings, I think referees entitled to class the foul like that under serious foul play. You need a courageous ref to send a man off under those circumstances. You do. Wouldn't FIFA, you? Uh, FIFA's interpretation of it at the moment is that the player shouldn't be sent off under those circumstances. I know several of our leading referees a season or two ago did undertake to do that. They haven't done it and nobody's made them. But I'm sure the people who watch the game would think that a player cold-bloodedly in that situation pulling down an opponent should leave the field. That Perhaps the referee justice. did Bobby Robson and all of us a favour, actually, because if they'd won 3-0 and their goalkeeper had gone off, nobody would have got any sort of credit at all. <laughs> we should give Bobby credit tonight and the lads for a first-class display and, uh, as has been said, bringing a smile onto everyone's face. And isn't it pleasant to be able to hit here, sit here and say that, Des? Certainly. Well, yeah. the critics have got nothing to criticise, really, I think. No, us included. Well, Certainly. <laughs> and of course, we ought to say too tonight, a splendid day and congratulations to Crystal Palace, Port Vale and Leighton Orient who all uh, got their promotion confirmed today in the playoffs. So, nine games unbeaten for England this season. Great re recovery from a poor European Championships last season. Final game, a friendly, away to Denmark on Wednesday and that's in sports night on that night. Well, today's been a record equaling day for Peter Shilton. Top of the form day for Gary Lineker. A splendid day for team morale, even if you didn't get a game. And a quietly satisfactory one, too, for the only man so far to have taken an England football team all the way. Well, that remains the target for Bobby Robson, and it's so far so good. Good night.